What's up, y'all? This is Savvy and RK from Your Morning Guru. We're here to do another reaction for you guys today. Let me change my name so you don't realize that we just jumped from one video to the next. Oh, I'll like... change my shirt after this one, too. I'll... Let me take my shirt off real quick. Let me just get naked on stream real quick. Welcome to our OnlyFans. Let me turn, let, let me uh, close that curtain so it looks like it's fucking dark out, too. What's a good yeah. name? I'm, I'll be subscribed to PewDiePie for this one. Subscribe to PewDiePie. Let and us know in the comments when we should follow PewDiePie for a week. We've got a lot of weeks planned out. We've got a few YouTubers in there, but PewDiePie is something special. Everything good, everything good, gravy. PewDiePie is awesome. Dude, if we follow PewDiePie, I think we have to do, like, get in a, a sub count war with another big channel. Well, we're a small channel, but we should- Not another big channel. Manifest- Now when we're big, the manifestors are going to be like, see? She fucking did it. She manifested it. You better thank Rhonda Byrne right now. We got to get like a T-Series PewDiePie thing going on. We could- Oh, we could compete with Jen Sincero because her channel only has like 6,000 subscribers. So we could like do one of those sub count counters and be like, your morning guru versus Jen Sincero. Sub to your morning guru. Yeah, and then we can make it was it wasn't bitch. We can make congratulations. Yeah, we. I mean, we could make a bitch lasagna song if we want. We want Still to turn not into and Lindsay from cancel Sean Boston even more by just making diss tracks and shit. Dude, we should have done reaction videos long ago. This is so much easier than writing a book. <laughs> We're gonna keep writing. <laughs> by the way, not the least resistance savvy. We've written a book together. It's called Cancel Sean Boston. Check it out. Linked in the description below. If you like romantic comedies with a hard emphasis on the comedy and not the romance and hard emphasis on the memes, then you will enjoy Cancel Sean and Boston. Soft emphasis on the dick. <laughs> Rick's dick is huge in this book. So if you like... If you Way like, too big for all the blood. He doesn't have enough blood. If you like blood. chubby guys with big dicks... <laughs> then you, or if you like short girls with big boobs... <laughs> Why didn't you go with tits? Then you could have gotten that assonance in there. What if I said? If you said dick and tits, that 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 has that that has that vowel assonance. Oh, going on I should there. have said tits instead of boobs. You're right. I'm so sorry. I missed not the to mention, assonance. Not to mention with that assonance. I keep saying it for ass right there. We would have had dick, tits, and assonance. Oh my god! We would have had assonance and consonance there because it would have been like dick and tits. Like it's just it's like the D and the T make like the hard consonant sounds together. Yeah. You know. The D and the T need a little M in between. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so today we're going to be One reviewing... more pun. We need to find how to make consonants coxonants, and then we're solid. Okay, now we're <laughs> we are re uh, reviewing reviews of You Are a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sincero. I'm ready for the exact same positive reviews from the exact same accounts. Like, I, yes. want, I want to have that be canon and those are paid. I'm ready for OMG, this book changed my life. This book made me feel like a badass. With money? Or about making money? <laughs> Dude, like, this is, oh wait, this is uh, New York Magazine. And it was a number one times bestseller on the New York Times list. I said all of those words in the wrong order, but you know what I meant. <laughs> just, just play Scrabble real quick if you're listening. <laughs> with Savvy's words. And while you're playing Scrabble with her words, check out her fantastic video on the New York Times bestseller list and then come back here and read New York Times bestseller under Jen Sincero's name. So, by the way, guys, anyone that you see on Goodreads that we are making fun of their review, do not send them hate. If you send them hate, we will send you hate. By which I mean we won't really send you hate. We will just be really disappointed in you and um we will publicly humiliate you. But nah, if that's your it. fetish, we'll then like, I don't mean to threaten you with a good time. Savvy's getting really good at making puppets, which is one small step from voodoo dolls, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> if you send hate, Savvy's making a fucking voodoo doll and we are going to play catch across the streetcar. You will get yep. run over. The only person you're, to... you're allowed to send hate to us. And by us, I mean me. I want to protect RK at all costs. He's a sweet baby cinnamon roll. Thank you. Don't send hate my way or I'll go nap with a gator. 
Not really. I'm not that insecure, guys. Let's go on. Although I am generally a keen reader of self-help or financial advice books, I, that's because this is neither. I struggle to make it through this one. <laughs> this book and its author's heart is in the right place. No, it's not. And there are definitely bits of information and advice here that almost anyone would find Dude, useful. Pierre, Pierre is trying. He's really trying to give this book this something is, I positive. I love how this is a one-star review. This sounds like a solid three to me. <laughs> or like, like two. He's like, I think the author had good intentions and i'm sure there's some good advice it's like no pierre go balls to the wall dude the author's a scammer the book sucked just be honest but the way its content was presented in the style in which it was written made it a chore to get through there is also more than a bit of content in these 260 pages that oh, i more find on that. Oh, troubling. Dude. Oh, more on pierre, that later pierre oh pierre goes in Pierre Next paragraph. The content. Yes, we stand Pierre. Should, should we should we English class this? Should we go every other paragraph? You want to do popcorn reading? Yeah. So yeah, let's this do it. Okay. book has what I have found constitutes the holy trinity of trinity of mediocre self help books. A forced casual style filled with cringe inducing turns of phrase. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't read. Get the <laughs> Get the fuck on the fuck! Get the fuck on the fuck! This is right, you remember, remember there was that whole thing with Gabby Hanna when she was like, well, beep the fucking beef. <laughs> oh, the ugliest laugh. I'm so insecure about how ugly laughing I am right now. <laughs> I'm literally crying. I was going to film a whole video for my channel today, but I did all my makeup and I'm going to cry because <laughs> get the fuck on the phone. <laughs> I just got a breathe notification from my Apple Watch. <laughs> And he wears a cape. Sounding Pierre, are you Canadian? Let us know in the comments below. We adore you, Pierre. We adore you. You're a favorite Canadian. <laughs> Other than Paige the puppet. What if he's like from just Australia? He's like, what the fuck? Pierre's I'm gonna not, be like, I'm, I'm, I'm from Aussie. real France, not from from, from France too. I'm not from <laughs> Walmart France, which I'm is where Canada the, is. I'm not from the France that has the Queen of England on its money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So he says, I would appreciate any insight into what that actually means. Get the fuck on, get the fuck on the fuck. Next meme. I would appreciate any insight. Oh yeah. Unnecessary swearing and a number of added extras, such as the little nuggets of wisdom surrounded by two dotted lines. Oh, she does that in this one too. I listened to the money one on Audible, so I didn't see the dotted lines, but the dotted lines thing is annoying unhealthily break up the flow of reading while simply repeating what is being said in the main body of the book. Amusingly enough, the author initially found success by helping authors complete their books, her website being called, predictably enough, writeyourdamnbook.com, which makes me hope that she at least has a more serious style in her writing portfolio to offer her clients. Well, considering that I think there's two books that she put out before the You Are a Badass series, and those were Don't Sleep With Your Drummer and The, the Straight Girl's Guide to Sleeping with Chicks. So I am really, I, I'm really not having a lot of confidence in her right now. So we now know her drummer was a man, because why would she write a guide to sleeping with chicks if she can't sleep with her drummer? That's true. Yeah. Oh, um, I don't know, man. We got to think things through. We got, we, it's, it's about context, okay? Anyway, I'm clapping Popcorn back. reading. Your turn. A rambling structure with ideas that, although simple to explain, somehow managed to take up entire chapters through the inclusion of silly anecdotes, the above mentioned turns of phrase, and just generally repeating the same thing over and over again. Ironically enough, this goes against the actual content and message of the book, which is that being wealthy slash fulfilled is as simple as changing your attitude and making yourself entirely open to the opportunities that are abound 
around you. Then again, if all the chafe was cut out and this book found its natural length of, say, a series of articles, I said the same thing about Jordan Peterson, it would be much tougher to sell for the 13 pounds than this. Well, now we know where Pierre, Pierre is. Pierre is, <laughs> or, wait, that's Euros, that's Pierre Euros. is European. He yeah, is not Euros. Canadian, confirmed. Sorry, P I feel like Pierre's going to see this video and be like, why do these people care so much about me? And why'd you call it a pound? Then this visually eye-catching book. Pierre, we had, Pounded we had by the Pound by Chuck Tingle. Featuring Pounded Pierre. by the Pound, turned gay by the implications of Britain leaving the European Union. Speaking of structure, the book itself is obnoxious to leaf back through to find a specific passage or quote that speaks to you or that you need to reflect on. This is especially disappointing as this is as this functionality is pretty much required for self-help books, which invariably encourage you to reread the parts that you need most right now whenever that need arises. Rather than have a handy section at the beginning or end of the book where all the information is neatly summarized. Okay, Pierre, we love you, but please don't endorse Tony Robbins. We don't like Tony Robbins. Although- no, we like his- I, I told his you. books he, are not bad, yeah. He wrote by far the best self-help book we've read together, and it's because his voice isn't that loud in it. He's just like, I don't know about this, or I do, and I can help you with it, but here are the real experts that only I could facilitate. And yeah, like, we no, talked about his flex. book, Money Master the Game, which was really just him being like, here's a investment expert he's going to give you advice in this chapter. And I and was like, good. yeah, you know what? I really hate Tony Robbins, but he did the right thing there. Yeah. He deferred to an expert in their field instead of saying I'm an expert in everything. Anyway. So there's a short bullet point list of key takeaways at the end of each chapter. Again, written in the frustrating, I'm your buddy style, really not very useful. Um, popcorn. Beyond that, however, I find issue with much of the book's content. It's I, I I'm the shy kid in class right now who doesn't actually. You're the want shy to be kid there in every... class. Yeah. I think you're the high kid in class. I'm all of the above. Like so many other things, I'm self help experts. The author's professional background is the dude, oh my god. Look at how long this... Oh, dude, he keeps going. Dude, oh, cl classes is clear. That's that's going into free period. Okay. Uh, that's 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 a long class. Dude, we don't we don't have a double to today. We love he you, really Pierre. gave her the benefit of the doubt. He tried his best. He tried his <clears> best. <throat> and Pierre, the book sucked. You did Pierre did nothing wrong. The book sucked. That's just yeah, we, how it goes. We we appreciate you, Pierre. We appreciate your European review styles. Now, okay. here we go. We have this five-star review <clears throat> that loved this book that said, Is it a coincidence that I won this book at a Goodreads giveaway the day after I asked the universe to bring the books, movies, and people into my life that I need in order to further advance my goals? Yeah, that sounds like a coincidence. I would say yes. What do you think? <sighs> I now think this is fake because we all know no one actually ever wins Goodreads giveaways. Yeah, dude, who has ever <laughs> won Goodreads giveaways? I don't think they're real. So this is very clearly fake now. Is it merely serendipity that exactly one week after finish, finishing this book, I received a 25% raise, a $1,000 bonus, and got the certification this class is... I just signed up for and paid by my employer? um okay so we just read this book one week after we read this book if we don't have the audible sponsorship we've been trying to manifest i'm speaking into the universe why is audible not sponsoring us when we read so many books on their stupid fucking app did she just well i think it's because i don't use audible oh it's because you don't use audible that's true did uh, but I, yeah they, they're mad at me because i keep she giving libya shout out on here you know what i'm gonna get my audible subscription again just for you audible just for audible you, bezos. we're trying to manifest this when are you gonna sponsor uh, us i Dude, want bezos to build another penis rocket us, if audible offers us a sponsorship for a paid ad read on our channel within the next week then i will rescind my negative review of you are a badass at making money and i will apologize personally to jen sincero <laughs> Well, I think that's what makes this book so great. It's not the actual content in the book. We we know that's garbage, but it's the fact that it has magical powers that one week after reading it, all you have to do is complete it. And all of a sudden you get a 25% raise and benefits. Exactly. Exactly. And in which case I would, I would give this book a five-star review. I'd say, yeah, guys, listen, I know it's tough, but you just got to get through it. You got it. You got to accept it. And then good things will just magically happen. So then she says, I personally like to think that life is not merely a series of meaningless accidents or coincidences, but rather a tapestry of events that culminate into an exquisite divine plan. I mean, that, that fully depends on your religion and spirituality and stuff. You, you also, 
we missed one line. It's or is it because I've worked my butt off this past year? Oh, so it's I'm because going to, of that. It's, it's absolutely because of that. That that's absolutely the reason there, why you got there, all those there's things. There's your answer right there. <laughs> and you were doing that before you got the book, and then you, you had this in you it. all along. <laughs> Don't don't credit Jen with this. You you literally worked your ass off all year, and you're gonna say because you read this book in one week, suddenly all these good things happen because it was the final piece. Like, no, she had nothing to do with it. Favorite quotes: <clears throat> Time wasted rationalizing the mediocre could to be time spent creating the magnificent. You're right. We should not be reacting to this anymore. <laughs> You're right. We're, we're this book is mediocre. We should be creating a magnificent video instead. Maybe that's why we can spend time on it. The book is not mediocre. It's just awful. Oh, the book's awful. There we go. We're saved. The, the magnificent. Well, the magnificent and the awful are on the same level. Mediocre. It's like what we were saying about uh, Seth Godin when we followed him. The opposite of great excellent is good. is good it the opposite yes. of excellent is not terrible excellent and terrible are on the same level and then good and average and mediocre is all down here dude people remember the room more than they remember who won best picture last year actually that was a line at the start of disaster artist i forgot which celebrity said it when they were endorsing the movie it might have been adam yeah. scott shout out adam scott shout out ben wyatt uh shout out tommy was so shout out tommy was so shout out greg sestero yeah, exactly. So things that are magnificent and are terrible are also worth spending. Wait, time I don't on. want to put Jen in their category either because she's just. An I asshole. don't know, dude. I don't know. Like I said in the past, like when I read "Girl, Wash Your Face" and like did all those reviews of Rachel Hollis's shit ass books, like I made a decent income from that. I paid my mortgage for a couple months, so. I, I think that I think that there's something to it. There's something to uh, reviewing <laughs> shitty books. I'd smoke weed with Rachel Hollis. Oh, I would too, dude. Here's the thing: like we were saying this morning, I just want to get like my boombox and do the John Cusack thing outside of Rachel Hollis's window. I hold that up and be like, "Girl, I didn't know how good I had it with you until I realized that Jen Sincero was out there." You you could do all rom coms, dude. You could do. Is it love actually when he's standing outside with like the signs? With the or, signs, like, maybe. Oh, dude, yeah. I should make that as like a parody video. That might actually be funny. You could do all of the rom com endings. That's a good I, idea. I would support that. Rich is the ability to afford all the things that experience it. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Um, your thoughts inspire emotions, which inspire actions, which forms your reality. If you here's the I hate this. If you've made a backup plan, you haven't made a decision. That is not true. You can make a decision and have a backup plan. This That's is actually just, just called smart. Jen just says this shit because in her book she likes to rationalize how she put all of her she put her expensive car payment on all these loans for money that she didn't have, and she put all this stuff on credit and got ten thousand dollars in credit card debt, and then she borrowed eighty five thousand dollars from someone though so that she could hire a financial life coach to help her figure out how to pay off her ten thousand dollars of credit card debt. <laughs> <laughs> she borrowed eighty five thousand dollars to learn how to pay off ten thousand. That's literally and what she wants us. In the book. <laughs> and she wants us to take financial advice from. Her. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Yakov here who says this book is a very new age type of book that is very dangerous. Jump off a cliff and you'll be fine as long as you believe you'll be fine. That's literally what this book is. If you believe that you can pay off the expensive car, just take out a bunch of loans, open a bunch of new credit cards, put the expensive car on all those things, and then you'll have the car. And now that you have it, you, you're required to figure out how to pay it off. So Savvy's being sarcastic. Please, please. Oh, no, I was just summarizing what Jen said. That wasn't my advice. That's what please, I was summarizing. Please don't clip that. Please don't clip that. Internet. No, 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 no that's not what I mean. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't even own a car. That's my best advice. <laughs> okay, you can, you, you can clip that. <laughs> don't buy a car. Um, well, I mean, some people need to buy a car. I don't have a car, and I, I love not having a car. I feel like it's okay to say something along the lines of, if you put all your eggs in one basket and that doesn't hit and that egg doesn't hit, you're fucked. So maybe have a backup plan. Right. Exactly. That's why at pretty much at any <clears throat> given time, I have like multiple different jobs going. 
when I started YouTube, I was working like five other jobs at the same time and going to school. Yeah. In fact, most successful people I know say that you should be planning for downtimes when times are good. Exactly. Yes. hundred percent. So that's probably better advice. You know, do, do that with your life, y'all. Also, I love how she, she made a comment on debt, which <clears throat> higher education is a completely different discussion. I, I don't want to dismiss that and say that she's wrong because the, the fact is like say, having issues with higher education is a completely valid point. But I love how she was like using the debt crisis with, with education as a way to justify going into debt for something else. She point blank said, you know, take, take, take on debt because for some reason, the only debt that we say is uh, that we have this weird relationship with it. And the only debt we say is okay is higher, is higher education. I'm just like, that's not what we say. We, we have discussions on this constantly. It's something that we do want to correct. Um, also, lots of people are totally fine with having an outstanding loan as a mortgage. Exactly. Most, don't most people have that? <clears throat> don't use yeah, uh, unless you're Dave Ramsey, in which case he's like the house is the only thing it's okay to go into debt for, but make it 15 year fix. Like no, <laughs> I'm gonna. Make oh it no, 30. Dave Ramsey. <laughs> Dave Ramsey is like the opposite of Jen Sincero in the worst possible way. Like it's like you want to say the enemy of my enemy is my friend, but not with them because it's I like, like you know, the more. enemy of my enemy is my worst enemy. I like him more because unless you work for him, he's not gonna ruin your life. Like if you take his advice. Um, well, some of his advice will, okay. like when he says, when he says that you should only ever get a 15 year fixed mortgage. So you keep throwing money down the drain renting because you can't save up enough to get a 15 year fixed mortgage. Yeah. I, again, I would say that doesn't necessarily ruin your life. It just doesn't improve it. Like it's, it's, it's not ideal and you're not opto. My, my point is I'm, I'm saying like, if you t doing that is a completely different situation than taking out debt for a car you can't afford that's true that's my that's point <laughs> yeah although dave dave ramsey and jen sincero both have the problem with mlm apologism like thinking that multi-level marketing companies can be okay sometimes no nope, they're never okay literally no. never well jen needs the mlm crowd to, to buy her courses <laughs> Oh, of course she does, because MLMs love her type of shit. The people up top can use this, like, money is whatever you believe it is bullshit to rope people into continuing to spend money on the MLM crap that they're not selling. Yeah, even Rachel Hollis came out, like, I remember in her book, her last book of Didn't See That Coming, she was like, don't, don't buy the starter kit. Just don't, don't buy the starter kit. Don't do it. Don't be dumb. And I was like, eh, maybe maybe uh you shouldn't have encouraged people to go into mlm maybe but i guess have. at least you've noticed your mistake yeah well i love how like it's also both they're both are documented in books like you have a book that says take the chance on it and you have a book that says Don't you have, do they're it. both in books exactly so it's like you can point to it real quick girl stop <laughs> apologizing page 68 that's where she says that mlms could be a good side hustle part-time income opportunity she says i'm page so 68. mad at her she couldn't have just put it one page over she couldn't have put it on page 69? God <laughs> damn it, Rachel. Fuck off, Rachel. You know who Everyone I'm mad at page... is whoever at HarperCollins formatted that book and didn't have that on page 69. That should have been that should have been right at the top. That should have been the title of the chapter, right at the top of page 69. Exactly. Come on. Come on, Anyway. Rachel. Next. Anyway, <laughs> thank you all for watching. <laughs> subscribe to PewDiePie <laughs> subscribe to PewDiePie we'll see y'all on our morning show 8 a.m central every weekday uh like and subscribe not to us to PewDiePie see you later guys bye